morning everyone so in today's class we will discuss a very special case of second order homogeneous differential equation so in second order homogeneous differential equation p and q are function of x in this case we will assume that p and q are constant so they are not the function of x in that case how we are going to solve the differential equation which looks like y double dash plus p y dash plus q y is equal to 0 where p and q are constant so the first thing is that how does the solution of this differential equation looks like now if you see it then y dash is multiplied with a constant y is a multiplied with a constant so if we take a solution of the form e raised to the power mx then our y dash should be m times e raised to the power mx and y double dash is m square e raised to the power mx so it is multiplied with a constant and therefore we can assume e raised to the power mx as a possible solution of 1. If we assume it as a possible solution of 1, then let us substitute it into the given differential equation. It will become e raised to the power mx m square plus pm plus q is equal to 0. Now we know that e raised to power mx cannot be equal to 0 implies m square plus p m plus q is equal to 0 which is known as the auxiliary equation in short we will denote it as a e so now this auxiliary equation is a quadratic equation in m and therefore it would have the roots which can be denoted as m1 m1 m2 and which are minus p plus minus under root p square minus 4 q by 2 yes so now these roots depending on the value of p square minus 4 q has three possibilities so the first is p square minus 4 q is greater than 0 which means roots are real and distinct so if roots are real and distinct therefore the solutions are so solutions of equation 1 are it was e raised to the power mx so now i will say e raised to the power mx and e raised to the power m1x and e raised to the power m2x and i can say that the general solution is c1 e raised to the power m1x plus c2 e raised to the power m2x clearly if m1 m2 are distinct then e raised to power m1x cannot be expressed as a linear combination of e raised to the power m2x and therefore they are linearly independent. Now case 2 says that when p square minus 4q is less than 0. In that case we will get the imaginary roots. So imaginary roots means m1 m2 would be a plus minus ib or you can say that m1 is a plus ib m2 is a minus ib so e raised to the power m1x which would be e raised to the power a plus ibx would be e raised to the power ax and cos bx plus i sin bx and e raised to the power m2x which is e raised to the power a minus ibx is e raised to the power ax cos bx minus i sin bx yes now if you see these two equations i can call them equation 3 and 4 then i got the solution of the equation with constant coefficient but both the solutions are complex in nature and in this course we are focusing on the real solutions only that's why instead of considering these solutions we will consider the solution as a linear combination so i consider 3 plus 4 by 2 equation 3 plus equation 4 by 2 and i consider equation 3 minus 4 by 2i so if these two are the solution they are linear combination also the solution when we define the linear combination we take c1 c2 as 
real constant but if they are the complex constant then also it can be easily proved that that they would be the solution and therefore 3 plus 4 by 2 gives me e raised to the power a x cos b x and this gives me e raised to the power a x sin b x so these are my two solutions which are clearly linearly independent and therefore in case 2 I can say that yg is e raised to the power ax cos bx plus c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx yes so real and distinct roots imaginary roots and the last one is equal roots when p square minus 4q is equal to 0 so in that case m1 m2 would be minus p by 2 so this one of the solution we can find only one solution which is y1 is e raised to the power mx which is minus px by 2 now the question comes how do we find the second solution so in the previous section we just discussed that if one of the solution is known then the other solution is v y1 where v is 1 by y1 square e raised to the power minus p dx and dx yes now my y1 is e raised to the power minus px by 2 so y1 is square is e raised to the power minus px and here this p is a constant in general it is a function of x but the equation which we are considering right now p and q are constant and therefore this also becomes e raised to the power minus px dx so this becomes x e raised to the power minus px by 2 because e raised to power minus px e raised to power minus px cancels out it is a simply the integration of dx which is x so i got the other solution also and therefore my yg is c1 e raised to the power or c1 plus c2x e raised to the power minus px pi so this is the required solution so in all three cases we have seen that how do we find how do we write down the general solution if i have given the equation with the constant coefficients so let's consider three questions y double dash plus y dash minus 6y is equal to 0 4y double dash so 1 2 minus 12y dash plus 9y is equal to 0 please do try all of them by yourself first and question 3 is y double dash minus 6y dash plus 25y is equal to 0 yes so i start with question one so y double dash plus y dash minus six y is equal to zero so always we can write let e raised to the power mx is a solution this implies auxiliary equation is m square plus m minus six is equal to zero it means the roots are m1 m2 which comes out to be two minus three both the roots they are distinct and real and therefore yg is c1 e raised to the power 2x plus c2 e raised to the power minus 3x if you see the question 2 then it is 4y double dash minus 12y dash plus 9y is equal to 0 please do try by yourself if you solve it then auxiliary equation is 4m square minus 12m plus 9 is equal to 0. If you solve it further, there comes out to be equal root which is minus p by 2 which is 3 by 2. And therefore yg is c1 plus c2x and e raised to the power minus p by 2x which is 3x by 2. The last is question 3 which says that y double dash minus 6y dash plus 25y is equal to 0 whose auxiliary equation is 
m square minus 6 m so you can see in all of them that y double dash is replaced by m square and y dash is replaced by m so m1 m2 is 3 plus minus 4 i which means imaginary roots and you have to remember the solution so e raised to the power a x this is a this is b so e raised to the power 3x c1 cos bx so cos bx means cos 4x plus c2 sin 4x so we have seen that if there is an equation with constant coefficient which means p and q are constant then there are three cases and we can easily write down the solution in next class we will see how to transform a given equation into an equation with constant coefficient thank you